guys. Does it look like I'm ready to get to work? That's because I got all my gear. I'm ready to get to work. I have tools. I got stuff I gotta do. Well, I have to tell you, there was somebody else who had a great work to do. That was our prophet Joseph Smith. When he went one night to pray to try and repent of his sins, the angel Moroni came to him and told him that God had a work for him to do. Joseph Smith had a lot of things that God needed him to do when he was on the earth. And he has a lot of things for you to do while you're here on this earth. So some of my tools that I have with me have specific jobs that God had for Joseph Smith to do. And let's go through those today. All right, Emin, come find a tool. What tool do you want to see what job God had for Joseph Smith? Ooh, he picked the scraper and a putty knife. So this can be used to scrape things off the wall, or if you have a hole in the wall, you can put putty over it and you use this to make it nice and smooth and flat. So the night that Joseph Smith prayed, he realized that he had made some mistakes and he was repenting. And that's when the angel came to him. Well, that makes me feel happy to know that God could still have a work for me to do even if I'm not perfect. So let's see, help me dear father, second verse about repenting, because even if we make mistakes, God still has a work for us to do. So while we do this song, you can pretend to have a rubber scraper and we're gonna scrape the wall and we're gonna make some patches. Help me dear father to truly repent. Scrape over here. Joseph Smith to do. 
she picks the hammer. This is a huge hammer. Oh my goodness. So something that God revealed to Joseph was the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and how we should serve each other. Like in the Relief Society, he started the Relief Society where they go to give people relief and help them. So uh, let's sing, I will be valiant because the Lord needs us to serve. He needed Joseph Smith to serve people. He needs you to serve people. So let's do, I will be valiant. And we're going to have hammer arms. because Joseph Smith, one of the works that he had to do was to translate the Book of Mormon. It was written in another language. So he used something called the Urim and Thummim. We don't totally know what it looks like, but we know that there was two stones wrapped together in a bow and that he could look through them and see what the words were in English. Hey, Helen, do you want to put these glasses on? Yeah. Okay. So another thing, when the angel Moroni came into Joseph Smith's bedroom, he told him that he would go and get some plates out of a mountain and he showed him exactly where it was. And so Joseph Smith went to the mountain and he moved this big heavy rock and what was inside? There was these plates, these gold plates and the Urim and Thummim that he was supposed to translate, but not right then. So he had to cover it back up and the angel would prepare him for the time when he would translate. So let's read or let's sing Book of Mormon stories and we'll do the actions. So what's our job? What's our work? Our work is to read the Book of Mormon. Book of Mormon stories that my teacher tells to me are about the layman. learn about how we can be better. Okay, I have one more. Ammon, do you want to come get it? Yeah. This is one of Ammon's favorites. It's right in there. Right there. Ha-ha! A measuring tape! <laughs> Ammon loves measuring tapes. Okay, one more work that Joseph Smith had to do was to restore the priesthood because it was not on the earth. They had killed all the apostles. So the Lord needed the priesthood to come back, the power of the priesthood. So let's see, the priesthood is restored. If you have a measuring tape, we're gonna use it. We're Because at the end of the line, we go, the priesthood is restored. And we hold it out a long time, and then you let it slide back in. Okay. The priesthood is restored.
so wonderful. I hope you see that God had a very, very important work for Joseph Smith to do, to restore the priesthood, to translate the Book of Mormon, to build a church where we learn to serve and love each other, and to get temples on the earth and temple ordinances so our families can be sealed together. Let's just do one more song, My Own Sacred Growth, so we can review all the actions and make sure we know this awesome song. Remember to start with beautiful angel eyes. Have a great week. I'm excited to see what work you do.